Yo, what's going on my Destiny dudes? I, I'm gonna be the first one to admit that I am very late to the party with this video. So, this is me going over a build, as well as going over the Chronosense settings for a grenade shatter dive build combination that I had come up with, well, not come up with, but you know, that had worked for me. And I got some gameplay footage for you guys with all of it. So I wanna go through the build with you real quick so you can see what we're talking about here. Um, Survivor Epithet. That weaponry is awesome. I'll get to that in a minute. The ability is with the Gambler's Dodge, Strafe Jump. You've got your Withering Blade, and then Grenade Glacier. Shatter Dive. And I eventually change up Winter Shroud to the other thing because that other grenade option is way more effective. Um, Whisper Shards, Whisper Fissures. And then I do add up uh, a third one eventually. I just didn't do it in the, this part of the video and I forgot to re-record it. So what you're looking for is the perk called Demolitionist. Now, if you have a fusion rifle with Demolitionist and firmly planted, that's a really good option to run for this particular loadout. It's amazing. I always put counterbalance stock on my uh, fusion rifles because it keeps it in a more linear, you know, vertical line. Really helps out when you're trying to shoot for distance. And I'm just showing you guys the extra perks. The main one on um, this one right here is make sure you put unflinching aim with your pulse, uh, not your pulse, your fusion rifle, super effective, with frost ease. Anytime you're sprinting, you get rapid cooldown. Now this is only gonna be good for the next couple of weeks or so. You're not gonna be able to use this after the new uh, ability patch that they're gonna go through. At least I don't think you will. So you might be able to keep this one in your back pocket, but they're nerfing both Shatter Dive as well as uh, Frosties and PvP. So have your fun with this one while you can, my dudes, because it's going bye-bye. Like I said, I'm late to the party. But I have the video. I want you to see it. Use it for a couple of weeks. You could cause a little bit of havoc before it's time for us to calm down a little and uh, go into normal PvP mode with weapons as opposed to Shatter Dive abilities. All right. So for this weapon right here, it does have a kill clip. All I did was add rapid fire. That's all I did. You could probably put anti-recoil on around maybe 30 if you wanted to. 25 to 30. You don't really need it. This thing shoots straight as a laser. What the anti-recoil would probably help you with would be if you're getting flinched a little bit. But that will be about it. You don't need anything with this. You could probably put a targeting mod on your helmet. But this thing is good to go as it is. It reminds me of Not Forgotten when it was a 180 definitely feels that way. If you have kill clip on the weapon, it's a three tap, which is really nice to have. So um, I eventually change it to a sidearm, but I did want to show you guys what this thing actually is and what it looks like. And I will put the only setting that you need for both of these. You can use this for Season of the Lost, or you can use it for the Doom Pack. It's just rapid fire. I'm sorry, you can't use it for Doom Pack. I take that back. I apologize. Um, Rapid fire with Season of the Lost, because if you use it for the Doom Pack, it's not going to work. Anyway, on the left side of the screen, you're seeing the thing called Rapid Cooldown, and you'll see a flash animation. That flash animation is how you know that the boots are working. Now, that little pull down from Anti-Recall 30 to 35 is what you want, because if you are getting flinched around and you pull down to about their knees, then you're going to have it pull up to their chest, and you'll hit mid-Guardian, which is how you can get the proper kill with this fusion rifle. Make sure you stay kneeling if you have firmly planted. Very effective if you're in PvP. Firmly planted gives you that extra boost so you can slide around corners and have a good old time. Um, I was showing you guys the ability regeneration build rapid cooldown, what this is. The total time it takes, I believe, is around 12 to 15 seconds. And that's without having any kills <laughs> on your fusion rifle. If you get one kill, on your fusion rifle, that bumps this down to like 10 seconds. Um, it's amazing, it really is. You'll definitely get a lot of people to frustratedly uh, message you. And uh, you know, I hate to be that guy, right? I hate to be like, ah, man, go do the thing and make everyone upset with you. But this thing with rapid ability cooldown, as you see on the left-hand side of the screen, plus a demolitionist perk, either on your primary or your secondary weapon. I have it on the secondary. You can get it on a primary. You can get your Glacier Dive back very, very quickly and wreak all kinds of havoc in PvP. Try to use this combination as soon as you can because they're going to nerf it. So have some fun, my dudes, while the opportunity is still there. Getting into the gameplay footage, you're just going to see me using this fusion rifle, and I switched up to a sidearm that I was dying to try it out. I kept the settings the same 
as with the gun, the survivor's epitaph, the hand cannon. So all you really need to do is add rapid fire to it and have a good old time. This has the demolitionist perk. So you'll see that the grenade energy is now coming back to me. I just used it like a little bit ago and now I've already almost got it back within an eight to 12 second period of time. Rapid cooldown is active and I'm trying my best to get this extra kill, but as often as I can, I'm running around like a maniac, trying to cover area, running back and forth. That is not as effective in comp. At least I couldn't make it work. I don't know if the caliber of player that I'm playing against is just higher right now or what it is, but or they knew what I was doing because, oh my god, dude, I kept getting destroyed trying to figure out how to use this thing against some of the better players. But in a 6v6 game mode, I was having some fun with it. Still wasn't great, but I did have a lot of fun with it. I definitely had some fun with this uh, sidearm, but you have to be within shotgun range, and a chaperone's probably going to destroy your life, and it's going to suck, but there it is. Have some fun with it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video today. I've got another video coming out very soon on the scout rifle that you get from Gambit, and that thing is a secret beast. I have it set up as like a stealth build. Really cool. Um, I know you show up on radar, but you can't hear the thing as well as you can hear some of the other weaponry, like if you have headphones on where it's coming from. It's really cool. It's an awesome build. Can't wait to show you that one. I'm gonna try to get one that that one up as soon as possible. I'm just about done with it. Um, another thing I wanted to do is I wanted to thank my sponsor. I actually have a sponsor for these videos. I've got two things going on with sponsors right now. I actually got a new gaming monitor. This gaming monitor is from ViewSonic. Oh my gosh! It is a whole nother world! Anyway, thank you guys so much. Got some more videos coming. Have an awesome day, and remember to keep it safe.